You know what? If I had a dollar for every minute that I was bored on this vacation, I'd be fucking broke. I'm having a great time. All right, welcome back to another Disney vlog. Today, we're going to Epcot. And one of the main reasons we're going to Epcot today is because we are doing drinking around the world. Now this, this is gonna be fun. Pretty much how this works is there's a bunch of different countries in Epcot and we're just gonna stop at each country and get a drink. A drink that's kind of like like the drink of the country. And basically the plan for today is to get fucked up. I mean, what else can I say? Uh, I was gonna do it, but I stopped myself. But I mean, um, ah ha ha. Sorry. Just got dropped off by the Uber and we made it. You excited? Yeah, I gotta pee though. Yeah, I have to pee. So at this point, we're kind of just walking around Epcot trying to find something to do to kill some time because our first attraction slash show doesn't start until 12.55. Since we have some time to kill before the first attraction, we're gonna go ahead. Margarita is $13. That's exactly what I thought. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead, get a margarita real quick. All right, so I guess we're starting early, drinking around the world. First stop, Mexico with a margarita. Only 15 bucks. And it's really strong. No salt, but I think you might have got like a little extra <laughs> tequila in there. All right, first stop is gonna be Canada, which is technically our second after Mexico. Let's do this. We got our first drink from Canada, just a beer, um, $11. It's actually really good. I mean, you're probably gonna hate it, but I like it. You hate it? <laughs> I mean, luckily we're not doing beer this whole time. We're actually gonna get some mixies in there, a couple mixed drinks. We just made it to the next country, which is England, and we're trying to find a drink that she's actually gonna like because beer is not really her thing. All right, so don't hate me, but the next drink from England is gonna be breakfast tea. I'm sorry, it's not alcoholic, but we got a tea, it counts as a drink, okay? It is from around the world, so. It's not like terrible, but it's not good. And we made it to France, the next country on the list, and I don't know how well you could see that, but the Eiffel Tower in the back. And we just stopped and got two different wines from France. We got two to make up for the fact that we did not get alcohol from England. Okay, so what exactly did we get? Because I don't even know the names of these. This was Vouvray. That's a what? Vouvray. Okay, and what it's is this? Like white wine, and this is like sparkling rosé. I don't remember the name. Okay, so we got a little bit of rosé and a little bit of Vouvray. That's actually pretty good. I'm not much of a wine guy, but... I am. You're a wine guy? Yeah. And we made it to the next country, Morocco. And this is our next drink from Morocco. This is a Morocco Rita. I'm assuming this is literally the exact same as a margarita, but we're gonna test it out. All right, official taste test going in. <laughs> that is straight up tequila. <clears throat> 10 out of 10, I like it. Wait, do we know how much this was? 12.95. 12.95 for this and we we're walking up to the next country japan and we just stopped at this little place the garden house to get some sake we got to keep it authentic we're in japan right now and this is the drink we got the violet sake all right official taste test going in i don't taste any alcohol i can't describe what it tastes like you know what it tastes like what it tastes like a Slurpee after it melts yes, and it you does. drink it. <laughs> Yo, 10 out of 10. I'm double fist in my margarita and my violet sauce. And we've officially made it to the halfway point, which is America. I just had to use that over there. I officially broke the seal. I couldn't take it any longer. The sake, like, it pushed me over the edge. And this is the drink that we got from America, the black cherry hard cider. If you want to go in for the taste test. Tastes like cherries. Literally just tastes like cherries. I don't know if I would say this is worth $12, but... <laughs> Pretty good. And we've made it to Italy, baby. Just look around. Where's Ratatouille? Is that Italian? I know we're supposed to be getting alcohol right now, but that pizzeria is looking real good right about now. This alcohol is sinking in. We had to keep it authentic, so of course for Italy we had to get some pizza. We got some Bellini. Woo! It's pretty good. It tastes like peaches. Hello. And we have officially made it to Germany, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little tipsy right now. We've we've had a few drinks by this point. Just look at her. 
Yo, she's up. See what I mean? We had to take a little pee break. We're gonna go try to find a German drink right now. You know what I'm thinking is like Das Boot. That's like a real thing, right? Das Boot. And we just got our drink from Germany. This is a little bit of uh, white wine. It's called Riesling. It's not very German, but it was cheap. Tastes delicious. I don't know. I'm just gonna say it's good. I'm a little turnt right now, so. And we are back at the resort after seven hours at Epcot. We just literally could not do it. We could not finish drinks around the world. We were so close, 80% done. We got eight out of the 10 countries and then we had to call it quits. The last two countries that we did not hit were Norway and China. We were close, but we didn't do it. And I'm sorry. One, we were tired, but two, like it was so crowded. Moving was kind of a struggle, but we did our best. We did hit most of the stops. We got drinks from pretty much everywhere and it was a blast. I had a lot of fun. Heidi had a lot of fun. We got kind of tipsy. Now, let me take a second to say, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up for me and Heidi because she was my drink partner for the day. And I will see you all again soon in the next vlog, but until next time, peace.